today I want to show you how to extract sprites from sprite sheets. Now a lot of this stuff is already copyrighted, so it's kind of good for creating fan-made games. Or sometimes you can just buy sprites like this. Right, so we're gonna select something here and uh, we are going to extract it. You could simply bring this to Photoshop and um, basically just... Um, uh, you could grab every image and export it. But uh, as you can see, that will take you a long time to do. Not impossible. Anybody can do that. It's just time consuming. Now, some game engines allow you to uh, bring in sprites. Okay? Like the old days. But uh, we are not in the old days. We are into like the 21st century now. Bringing in sprites like that sounds kind of dumb. To handle the sprites like this. There might be some advantages, I guess, in terms of memory. I'm not sure. I mean, that could be debatable. But, uh, since everything is like super fast these days, uh, I don't even think that even matters anymore. Uh, without further delay, obviously, we're going to use GDevelop for this because uh, GDevelop is free. You don't have to pay anything for it. You can export your games, you can sell them, and you can out, and you can do whatever you want. And as one comment put it down below, as long as you don't pretend you made the game engine, which I don't think anyone does. Okay, I don't pretend I made GDevelop. I think the uh, the name of the person who made GDevelop is Florian. I think Florian um, someone. I emailed him the other day. <laughs> Sent, sent him a long, long email. Uh, right, so let me select something here we can use for our example. Obviously, I don't own these graphics, guys. I'm simply using these for educational purposes only. Not like it matters. You can buy sprite sheets like these uh, at uh, different websites. I believe uh, Shutterstock sells them. That might be a, a bit too many. We want something like pixel art kind of thing. Let me just see if I can find something on the tail kind of thing. I, I kind of like this one. I'm going to save that one. I'll make a new folder here. I'm going to call it Sprites. And uh, let's save it. And let me just load that into Photoshop. I'm going to parse the file format. <laughs> uh, there's always paint. Let's open, it. let's open that in paint. If you, ever, if you ever find any problems with a sprite like that, just freaking open it in paint and save it again. Open that in Photoshop. So that is our sprite there. Uh, let me just paint that uh, some other color like that. Save it. Uh, and as I mentioned, you could simply zoom in and you could like crop this one by one and export them. Uh, that is not a good solution if you have a lot of images, uh, which is why I would use a program like uh, Alfred Ampex Flight. Alfred's Alfred Ampex. <laughs> what is it called? Okay, it's called Alfred's uh, Sprite Sheet Unpacker. I said that backwards. Right, so let's download it. Not very pretty, but we are going to download it nonetheless. Place it on our desktop. And uh, let me unpack it. Or unzip it. And here is our program. And I believe this program doesn't have a um, an open button, so you kind of actually have to drag the images in here, like so. So let me select all the images. Select all. Okay. And uh, we are going to extract them. So let me uh, make a new folder here. Sprites, okay, maybe we just want to extract them here. Extract. There you go, and there is our images. Now, this is kind of messy here with um, all the uh, sprites like that. I cut them on their tail. There we go. So let me bring that into uh, GDevelop, create a new project blank project add a new scene we were able to import our sprite well, it has nothing to do with the program that's just um, that that animation it's um it's not the best you can try different um, sprite sheets okay let me just try one more before we sign off close the program because I don't think there is a clear button on this and 
that we're gonna go back here and uh, we are going to extract these uh, images select all and again we want to extract that to our sprites make sure you uh, select your images and I believe uh, Alfred has crashed Quah, quah, quah. That happens sometimes, guys. That happens sometimes. No, Alfred is just being stupid here. I think Alfred is. Uh, all right, so let's try this. Drag the image here and uh, select all, and export selected. I think that one is too. Same problem. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so every time you encounter a problem with one of these sprites like this, do the same thing. Just open that in paint. Okay. Uh, then you can just save it or to save it as something else. Jesus, I don't even know where the bottom is. Okay. Save Ash. I'm gonna call this uh, BB PNG. Okay, bring out the Alfred Pack again. And um, select all. And um, export. Now you notice that these sprites are uh, kind of small. If you bring that to Photoshop, you notice that they are, I mean, they're tiny, right? So one thing you can do is. Um, so let me just load that into uh, Le Adobe Photoshop or any other software. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this. Okay. Um, now, if you resize this right now to say uh, 1 to 1280, whole constraints proportions there, 1280 by uh, 640, you get this. Uh, blurriness like this right all right so let me show you how to fix that you go to image image size and uh, you are going to select the um, nearest neighbor preserve hard edges to the lady okay so now so now this price is a lot bigger i think they should be even bigger make this um 16 100 pixels okay you want this even sharper you can uh, actually throw a uh, sharpen uh, filter save this close Alfred okay and uh, drag those uh, sprites here. Select all. And um, export. What happened that time? <laughs> Something happened that time. Let me just um, run this again. Okay, select all. And uh, we want to export this folder for this. Call it that PB. There we go. ready to be used in a fan-made game 
Alright guys, so don't forget to drop a like and subscribe with notifications. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video. Bye now.